Okay, this is actually something I've been thinking about for days. All right. Let's hear it. Why do we consider what Jesus did to be the like ultimate sacrifice? And God sent his son down to die. He didn't really actually die. He died for three days and then got to live again. When God allows people's children to die all the time and they don't come back. So I just don't understand the point of calling it the ultimate sacrifice when God allows people to suffer way more. Uh, I just don't understand what is so ultimate about it. So you alluded to a few things, but mostly it sounds like you were trying to correlate the problem of evil with this concept of the ultimate sacrifice. So let me try and answer your initial question. The concept of Jesus's sacrifice as the ultimate sacrifice, does that imply that it surpasses all forms of physical or emotional suffering in terms of duration or intensity? The significance of Jesus' sacrifice lies in its spiritual and theological implications rather than its duration or physical pain. Here are a few points to consider. First, its unique spiritual significance, which is it has redeemed humanity from the consequences of sin and offered the possibility of eternal life. It is an act of divine love and grace that goes beyond mere physical suffering. Second is its divine purpose. Jesus' sacrifice was part of God's plan for salvation and reconciliation with humanity. It was not intended to be a competition in terms of suffering, but rather a redemptive act with a profound spiritual purpose. Third is its transformative power. It signifies victory over death and offers hope for believers. This transformative aspect sets it apart from ordinary human suffering. The ultimate nature of Jesus' sacrifice lies in its spiritual significance, divine purpose, and transformative power rather than the comparison of physical suffering.